Large parking lots have a really bad reputation. They take up a lot of space, they're used just for cars, they're not really multi-purpose, they're expensive. But whether you like it or not, car parks, parking lots, whatever you want to call it, they're here to stay. So we need to find out a way to make them more sustainable. And this is a great example of how. Covering them with solar panels. We need to make parking lots more sustainable, and the Netherlands is demonstrating exactly how we can do that by covering them in solar panels here at Bloemendal Beach. Let's jump into it. So this is Bloemendal on Zee, which is a beach town just about 30 minutes outside of Amsterdam. While you can get here by bike or public transportation, the reality is the easiest and quickest way is to get here by car. And in the summertime when the weather's nice, people flock to this beach like crazy. And so because of that, this area has a huge parking lot, actually many parking lots. And the two parking lots that I'm at right now are actually covered by solar panels. And this project was completed in 2020. You can read more about it at the article I'll link in the description below. But the idea was to kind of trial out, you know, sustainable parking here in this area, feed more electricity back into the grid because the reality is for the rest of the year outside of summertime, this area is basically unused. So right now in the wintertime, you can see it's quite empty but these panels are still working. And today happens to have a little bit more sun, so these panels are working. So let's jump into the many reasons why solar panel covered parking is the way to go in the future. One of the shock factors I have when I go back to the stage is the massive parking lots. I covered this in my previous videos in Florida and Nevada that shows the driving culture, but also these massive parking lots to support all of the cars. And while I was there, I was thinking this would be a great area to put a lot of solar panels. You have these massive parking lots all over the United States. This is just one example of one of them. You could put some solar panels here, even though it will restrict height for certain vehicles, you could totally put some solar panels over parts of this parking lot and it would be much more sustainable than it is right now, just an empty wasteland. So yes, we're gonna need the parking. There's no doubt about that, but you could put some solar panels here and start making it a little bit more sustainable. Nevada is a state that only gets a couple days of rain a year. They're pretty much covered in sunshine for the rest of the year. And you could actually benefit from having solar panels to not only generate electricity, but provide shade to cars. I was at the Hoover Dam when I was uh, in Nevada. And you can see that this area of paid parking was covered by a cover to provide shade to the cars, but there was no solar panels there. That was an easy opportunity to put some solar panels. Now, I know there's a cost associated with this, and that's something I'll get into later on, but the reality is there are many places in the United States that have huge parking lots that could already sustain an option like this, covering part of that parking lot with solar panels. You don't have to cover everything, and if you see around me here, there's actually uncovered parts as well. So if you have a taller vehicle or just don't want to be parking in the shade for whatever reason, that's an option still in these areas. But why not start to look at some of these massive parking lots and start covering them in some solar panels? Now, this isn't the only example of solar panel covered parking, but there are many more examples in Europe than I think the United States. Although after Googling and doing some research, there are some university campuses and some locations in the United States that do have solar panel covered parking, but there needs to be more. This is an easy solution to generating more electricity, more sustainable and renewable electricity. And the space is already there. We don't have to start using dedicated land for solar panels. Let's use the parking lots we already have. I would really like to see some sort of agreement between retailers and private companies who wish to cover part of their parking lots and solar panels. I think that's a great opportunity. And actually, you see here, France has passed regulation that over the next few years, parking lots over 80 spaces have to be covered in solar panels. So this is a great idea. This is a sustainable move that supports both the car culture and the space we need for cars, but also making it a little bit more of a sustainable space. Parking lots, when they're not being used, are just sitting there wasted space, right? So let's make it a little bit more sustainable, a little bit more multi-purpose. While this parking lot isn't being used right now here in the wintertime, it's still generating electricity. The cool thing also with solar panel covered parking is you can integrate electric vehicle charging right into this system. So you see here, there are some dedicated EV spots. And as we move towards more EVs, which is the reality of the future again, we need to have more charging options and more charging areas for EVs. This is a win-win. We can leverage solar electricity for when there's not cars there, use that solar electricity to charge EVs, have easy to access parking spots with charging for EVs. Like, come on, why aren't more people talking about this? Why aren't more people doing this? This is totally the right thing to do. Another reason this is a no-brainer to me is I lived in Florida for most of my life, and in the summertime, you look for the shaded spots. You park next to a tree. You don't want your car to become over 120 degrees Fahrenheit when you get back into it if you don't have to. So I'm surprised that this isn't already a popular option. 
not only does this provide electricity generation, but it also provides shade. And in a place like Florida where it gets really hot, or even in Nevada, which I was just at, there's a lot of sunshine. You want to provide shade to people. People would love that. And it's, a, again, kind of a win-win situation. On top of that, in an area like Florida, where you get a lot of rain in, in the summertime and other seasons, this provides shelter from the rain and also provides a channeled way to collect rain and we can even improve drainage for parking lots which tend to flood when there's a heavy rainfall. Like, there's so many benefits to doing this, but it comes with a cost. So let's jump into that. Now these all sound great. Covered parking, always generating electricity, you know, shade in the summertime, better management of water for drainage, sustainable and renewable options for the space we already have without using additional land. To me, it's a win-win-win. So what's the downside? Well, of course, there's a cost associated with it. Now the cost of solar panels is coming down, so I imagine this will become a more and more viable option for the future. But what we need to think about is that as we transition to EVs, which is going to take some time, like I said, we need to have the infrastructure in place to make it easily accessible for people to charge those cars. Now, if someone's going to the shop and already parking in a parking lot, why not have that space have an electric vehicle charging? To me, that will make it a little bit easier to say while you're doing your shopping inside, your car is charging up, even if it's a little bit of juice. So that's something we need to consider is the move towards EVs is going to kind of make this a little bit necessary. On top of that, the move towards sustainability is not going to come cheap, no matter what the options are. And that's something that's just a reality. This is just one option of leveraging existing land that we already have to make it a little bit more sustainable. So that's something that maybe needs to be factored into the cost of any new construction and new parking lots that are going to be developed. But additionally, considering the additional cost of adding this to existing parking lots. Cars aren't going to be going anywhere, so the reality is we need to make better use of the spaces that we already have for cars. To me, the move towards EVs, sustainable electricity, covering parking lots and solar panels like you see here is a win-win for everybody. We still get to have our space for cars, we have sustainable electricity generation options that are always working whether cars are there or not, and you have EV charging. To me, it's a win-win-win. The United States and Canada need to be considering this as part of all of the existing huge parking lots that exist there. Let's start covering them in solar panels. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm curious to get your thoughts on this topic. I'm becoming quite passionate about this because I'm seeing how space can be used better and more multi-purpose, as well as still accommodating the car, which I'm a huge fan of. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Curious to get your thoughts. Until the next time, thanks so much for watching.